Don't be shy, cause I, well, I won't bring you down too far. This is Umar Ahmed for IFL TV and Association for MTK Global. We've all uh, come back negative, uh, thankfully on our COVID test and joined by Hopi Price, who uh, has had a, a weird start his professional career. One fight in Saudi Arabia, one fight behind closed doors in a, in a matchroom fight camp, but possibly kind of two of Eddie's biggest cards recently opened. Definitely, I think um, two of the biggest shows he, he's done really. I think the, the similar setup, but there's no crowd at one and, and there was a massive crowd at the other, so. Even, even my debut was in Manchester Arena, so that was a, that was a big event as well. Um, I think Katie Taylor ran Crawler's last fight on there, so I, I've boxed on quite a few good shows. Same only on my third fight. Yeah, looking to go three and zero this Friday night. How do you feel about boxing? Firstly, um, straight after this whole pandemic situation, you must be quite thankful to get out, get paid, and uh, kind of carry on your career because a lot of fighters aren't able to do that at the moment. I hope it. Definitely, I've had itchy knuckles for weeks like say we've got we started training and then I think oh we had a, we had a fight planned I was supposed to box on the Terry Harper Natasha Jonas oh, the fight okay, yeah, the yeah. first time yeah, yeah. I, I was scheduled to box there and like you say when that all fell through we all got put into lockdown and I didn't really have much time off to be fair I just was ticking over at home and on FaceTime with Dave and that so once we got let back to the gym it was sort of full steam ahead and rescheduled and obviously I got put uh, on fight camp so that, that, that was perfect for me really because I've been dying to go ready to fight. How has it been with Dave uh, during that lockdown period and more recently? Yeah it's definitely um, Dave's very close to me and Jordan all the boys in the gym really is um, he sort of seemed like, like he, he's definitely like a family member rather than a trainer um, he was always on the, phone, the other end of the phone in case you need him and like say he was still keeping on our case to keep training and we just slowed things down in lockdown and, and worked on a lot of things really just techni more technical stuff than anything like so you didn't really need to be super fit but as far as the technical part of the game I think I learned a lot through lockdown. Got Lerone uh, added to the gym now as well? Definitely Lerone's a new member to our gym and he's a top qualifier as well like say British and Commonwealth champion he's only had about 13 fights and I think he's got um, kind of a big fight next as well so definitely. Well listen Dave was very pleased with uh, Jordan uh, on the first fight camp show um, what do you think uh, you need to kind of take from your last two fights and implement in this? In this, what does what is Dave looking for? Do you think uh, from your third fight? I just think I need to keep doing what I've been doing. Really, um, he's been over the moon with me last two performances, and it's like I said, this fight's the same. I think I've just got to go and keep doing what I've been doing day in day out in the gym. What we, what he's been seeing in the gym, he's, he's happy with. So it's just about putting that in on fight night, and oh, I'm quite good at that part. So. That's the bit I look forward to fight nights, the bit where, for me, all the pressure's off, really. I can just get down to business and, and go about my business. Your opponent, Johnny Phillips, has fought some decent names, I hope, he, and this is only your third fight. Um, maybe in normal circumstances, you might have waited a couple of more fights to fight someone uh, like Johnny, who's, who's experienced and uh, fought on sort of decent level shows as well against decent opponents. So. Um, you, you're fully confident uh, that everything goes to plan uh, Friday night, Hopi? Yeah, I'm super confident. Like I say, um, he's boxed some good names and he's, he's had some good wins and some good upsets as well. But um, I think you'll see what I'm about, see the level I'm at on um, Friday night. I think I think there's just there's just levels to boxing and I think I'm a level above Johnny Phillips and that's no disrespect to him. But I think where I'm going to go in this sport, I think people's going to see, like, open their eyes to it the weekend and I'm going to put on a good performance. Well, Dalton Smith did that uh, last Friday, obviously uh, another rising prospect with Matchroom. And the fact that there's only five fights on each show gives you that opportunity to, to get a bit of limelight because if you was on a normal card, you'd maybe been on at five o'clock, there's ten fights on the card. Maybe people are at the bar at that stage, they've got the football on on the telly. But here, you can really uh, capture some of the limelight like, like uh, Dalton did on uh, Saturday. Yeah, definitely. It was like he was in a tough fight on paper, yeah. and it, like you say, um, I, for, I forgot the kid's name, but he come and give it a go early, and then Dalton proved and showed his class. And it's like that kid was saying to him, um, uh, it, "It's pro game. It's it, it's a lot different." But w when you've been around like me and Dalton as ourselves and had 
boxed all over the world amateur and, and boxed them top kids, I think you don't realise like how much experience we have got. And I know it's a different game, and, and we're talking, but I think there's just just levels of where we want to aspire to and where we're sort of meant to get. That's like you said that that's the only pressure what's on us. Where we're meant to win, we're meant to push on. So it's just about relaxing and, and going and doing the job and getting to where we need to to be really. Of course, uh, right now. Uh, there's a fair few traveller fighters who are dominating the sport, Tyson Fury, Billa Joe Saunders. There's a load coming up as well, Dennis McCann, John Edges, yourself, so many more as well. Do you feel extra pressure, a bit of responsibility because the likes of Andy Lee, Fury, Billy Joe have done so well? Do you feel that pressure and responsibility? Not, not at all, no? I don't feel the pressure whatsoever. I think, if anything, they've made it easier for us. Um, They've sort of opened the door for us. They're the first ones who's, who's carried on. I think that's why you're seeing a lot more of the younger ones pushing on and coming through now. Because normally they, they, they'd all pack it in, and now we're we're all seeing where they're getting to, and we're thinking, you know what, we can we can all do the same. So I think that's why we're just keeping on in the gym and and pushing, for, getting past that 17, 18 stage. And you see a lot, like you said, they're, they're making a lot of noise as as young from like the travelling community, and we've got a good support behind us as well. So I think I think it's good. I think sort of changing people's views a little bit on, on what some of them have of us anyways. OK, Hobie Price, thank you very much for talking to IFL TV. Best of luck this Friday night, and uh, I'm sure we'll catch a word after, hopefully, you're victorious. Definitely. See you.